first of the month here, so it's time to get those newsletters out and work on a few other items that I need to check off my list to get all my marketing and advertising done. So I'm going to get that uh, finished and completed and in the mail for everyone for the month and on to my social media posts. I try to get those done as well uh, through Canva each and every month so that I'm not struggling to figure out what it is I want to post and I get those scheduled and completed so that's one more thing I don't have to worry about through the whole month of October. Hello. So it's a rainy Saturday day and I've already fed the cows and done some other errands and now I'm at a open house that I'm doing and it's such a beautiful home. Gorgeous. Very gorgeous. I posted the video of this house on my YouTube page so you can see the full video tour if you want. I love doing open houses. Um, this is the second time though I think I've done an open house on this one and sometimes it's really hard to know why a house isn't selling. You know, is it the price? Is it the location? Um, is there too much work that needs to be done? Which is not the case in this one. Um, we've even done an inspection so we know it's good. But um, it's difficult. It's difficult to advertise here in a small town uh, for open houses because not many people come to them. So the last one I had, uh, we had four people come. Which is better than none, so. And the snacks are always good. I got my laptop. I got our waters. My magazine that I made. Listing sheet. And some little snackers. <clears throat> I don't know how much more I could be prepared. But, there we go. Yes, even realtors work in the rain. Time to go home. Open house was successful. <laughs> successful. We had two people show, so that was better than zero. And one of them, I think, is seriously interested, so I'm looking forward to that conversation later. Okay, well, we're all packed up. I had to actually, I was on my way to the office to put these signs up, but now i got signatures back on a form that i needed signed so i'm going in and making some changes on a listing so which is always important time is of the essence is what they tell you when you're getting your real estate license but when you're always doing something sometimes it's hard to get everything done in a timely manner but i do try and that's why you just pull the car over Bluetooth your computer, always have your computer with you, and make those necessary changes, and then bam, you're done. And you move on to the next thing. One, two, three, okay. Bam, it's done. Now I can go home, well, jump out these signs, go home, and enjoy my kids and my husband, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Y'all enjoy the rest of the evening, too, even though it's still raining. Happy Saturday. That's wife. <laughs> so she can stand up there. So are you ready for me to try it out? Well, they ate a good bit. I'm not sure this is big enough to open that bag. <laughs> That's what she said. Taking a break from real estate to do a little bit of farming. We got some six cows here that we put up. But we're doing good now. Feed them and we'll get them back to the herd soon. But, and we're really glad that it stopped raining, even though we needed the rain very badly. But it's nice to see the sun come out. So they, they've just damaged it up down there at the end before it goes into Old Trace Creek. Hmm. <laughs> 
That's pretty cool. Anyway, maybe end of October, November. See, I can't get through there. I, I cut this one through here and clean out all but like a couple big trees for shade. Salt. Salt. There you go. That's all you got. Salt. I'll put it in the feed pan up there. Let him get it. I know where. I think two will last them while you're gone. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you like that salt? Goodness, that new baby's so cute. Caesar. Introduce your mama. She's right away. They are going after that hay. They were hungry. There's still not much grass. Even with all the rain that we had, we just need a little bit of sun to get it to come up. Even though you do see some green, there's just not much there for them. But it'll, it'll come up. Oh, there's Caesar. You did your own hand roller. <laughs> and there's the smart ones getting away from the crowd. And gonna get the fresh hay. <laughs> Nobody else is gonna join her, I guess. They may not have realized it. All right, in the mornings I try to get into the gym and get a good workout in. So we're here at CrossFit Outlanders here in Paris, Tennessee, and uh, just trying to stay in shape and get her done. It's pretty cool. They got lockers. Let's see. Yeah. I never went to this school. I went to Cottage Grove. 
school. Um, school of the Cardinals. This is School of the Hawks. Um, that Cottage Grove school, unfortunately, is no longer open. They closed my eighth grade year, I think. Yeah. So, sad. But this is a really good school, and William is enjoying the seventh grade. And then we'll hop on over to the high school soon. And yes, I did go there, and I'm really excited to see the school and have some good memories. Now we are ending the week with a Blues and Brews festival here downtown in Paris, Tennessee. Just checking out um, the setup here and just going to enjoy the rest of the evening with a little fundraiser that the Chamber of Commerce is putting on. And so excited to be here and to be able to help Mockingbird Catering, who is doing the serving tonight, and just enjoy the good time with the good music. It's so good. And a caramel bourbon bread pudding. <laughs> Oh, I don't like about it.